All right, now we're doing 8Q, some mixed array. This is by PG1, and 93% of the people like it. Given an array of integers as strings and numbers, return the sum of, an, of the array values as if all were numbers. Return your answer as a number. Okay, so we're just going to convert these strings in here to numbers, and then we're going to sum the whole array up. All right, so... To do that, we're going to have to use the reduce function. And then we're also going to have to use uh, the unary plus operator. And I'll show you exactly what that means right now. Okay. So the reduce method. Okay. The reduce method. The reduce method executes a user supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result, pardon me, the final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. So basically it just is going to return the sum of all elements in an array, right? So we're gonna go over here. Up, oh, one more thing. Uh, we're gonna use this syntax right here where it's got previous value, current value. And also we're gonna use an initial value. Okay, so we're going to say x dot reduce, and then we're going to say inside parentheses, we're going to say um, prev, prev and cur for previous and current. All right, and then we're going to say we're going to use this unit, un, pardon me, unary plus, and this unary plus operator precedes its operand and evaluates to its operand but attempts to convert it into a number if it isn't already. So it just converts whatever is there into a number. So we're gonna say plus, and we're gonna do cur for the current number, and then we're gonna add it to the previous number that uh, we already added to the other stuff too. And we're gonna say start at zero with all that, all right? Awesome. Attempt it, there we go. All right, very like it. Let's go to my solutions. Best practice. All right, and we'll see you next time.